Hey guys, the LEGO animator BrickMove has recently sent me over his Intel Core i3-4160 dual-core CPU. Many say this CPU from 2014 is worthless already, but is there any truth to that? I highly doubt that to be honest. Right now this processor still can be picked up for about a hundred US dollars more or less, but should you with more recent CPUs around, such as the newer i3-8100 or the Ryzen 3 2200G? How does it keep up in games as well as in productivity? Is it time to upgrade? Now spec wise, things admittedly don't even look too bad. Compared to the newer Coffee Lake i3-8100, this older 4160 Haswell chip is equipped with only half the amount of cores, it's a dual core, but it does feature hyper threading, thus for threads. The clock speed is identical, but a very significant difference is the amount of cache. The newer 8100 comes with exactly twice as much, for sure giving it a massive boost in performance there. Now initially I planned using this motherboard the processor originally came with out of a median pre-built PC, however since that board has some strange power connections going on and my adapter hasn't arrived yet, I'm gonna use a trusty overkill Z97 board by MSI. So is the i3-4160 any good in 2018? Now to get things clear, I know some of you guys still have this exact CPU or at least a very similar one. And yes, of course the i3-4160 shows its age already, but to be fair it never really was a super duper good performing processor to begin with. It's more or less an entry level chip, just like the 8100 is. But in 2018, the 8100 is a real beast for its money. That's mainly thanks to AMD's strong Ryzen lineup mixing up the market. So Intel clearly had to up the core count in order to compete with AMD's aggressive price to performance ratio. But it's about the 4160. All in all, if you're doing normal stuff like surfing the web, playing not too demanding games, the 4160 is still a powerful processor despite its only two cores. Hyperthreading does wonders though and allows this slightly dated i3 Haswell chip to at least run all the latest game titles, albeit with worse frame rate results than with with more modern CPUs. But still in games, this 4160 did surprise me, I expected worse. But paired with the GTX 1070, it was a very playable gaming experience. In certain games there hardly is a difference at all as opposed to newer models. Nice. But then reality hit me once I tried rendering a short video with Vegas Pro 15. If you're video or photo editing and that kind of stuff, this CPU is painfully slow compared to the new 8100 or even the Ryzen 2200G. While those two new processors aren't the ideal ones for video rendering either, they do a lot better. 35 minutes to render a short video is pretty bad for today's standards. And anyone trying to do that is a true soldier. In fact, someone said that about Patrick, the guy behind the LEGO animation channel BrickMove. I can only agree to that. Luckily he now has a powerful Ryzen 5, which is a fantastic choice for productivity such as 
as photo, video editing and so on. So is it a CPU I'd recommend buying now? Hell no! For what it is, it's very pricey and definitely not worth it. You can get brand new platforms such as the i3-8100 or the Ryzen 3-2200G for about the same amount of money, but get quite a lot more performance out of those. But do you really, really have to upgrade to a better CPU or platform if you own such an i3 from the Haswell generation? No, I don't think so. Unless you of course run into issues with certain programs and games and they run poorly, then yes. But hey, maybe you're looking for a great cheap used CPU and you find one of those i3s for a decent price? Go for it. The i3-4160 still has got some more power left in it. I'm not sure for how long though. So yeah, big thanks to Patrick from the channel Brickmove for sending me his CPU along with other components. And with that said, thanks for watching.